Hello, Stavanger. Welcome to AETV Student Magazine. My name is Yalda Jam. And I'm Jackie Wamsteker. Today we will be visiting the International School of Stavanger. The students in Class 5C have been creating models of the aliens they have seen. Aliens? Can it be true? Can it, Jackie? Those creatures that live on other planets? Aliens? UFOs? I suppose. Let's go meet Brady Huff and the Cocoa Worm. Hello, I'm Brady Huff. I'm from Texas, United States. One day, I was with my super deluxe telescope in my room exploring the universe, and I noticed a new galaxy. So I said, I better get a shuttle and explore that new galaxy. So, I took a shuttle to it, and I noticed it looked like a blur, in a way. So I called it Magnolia. And I found that one of its stars was pretty similar to our star, the sun. So I named that Flato Flatolia. And so I set our ship into... Hi, my name is Felix Rover. I'm from Germ I'm from Flint. Hi, my name is Felix Rover. I'm from Germ I'm from Flint. Hi, my name is Felix Rover. I'm from Germ I'm from Flint. Hi, my name is Jennifer Offel and I and I was born in the Caribbean on an island called Aruba. My mother is Norwegian and my father's Dutch. Well, back to my alien. Its name is Omega and I found it on a planet called Omegaus. I was walking along and suddenly I saw um, him in a family, it's in a family. And um, I picked up my camera and took a picture of it. Um, I went home and I made a model of it, which is this. Um, um, it breathes a gas called Omega Oa um, and it, the way it re reproduces is um, it makes a hole there and the baby pops out and it has a pouch to carry it. And um, when, it, when an enemy comes, it rolls itself into a ball and rolls away. Um, hello, Stavanger. My name is Sam Arnhem. I was born in Borger, Texas. This is my little alien scab creature. Say hello. 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 Oh. Hello. Hello, my name is Selen, and this is my alien, the color snake. The color snake is a herbivore. The only um, plant that it can eat is a silver plant. This is how it looks like. If it doesn't, if it eats any other plant, it can die. So every now and then, I'll have to go up to space and get some. The color snake has a enemy, which is the mole. When the mole comes, the color snake has its tail, and it grows, and then it squeezes the mole, and then the mole dies. The best thing about the color snake is that it's like Superman. Whenever there's someone in trouble, it can go and save them. And here's a little mark that must have happened. Hello. Hi, my name is Felix Rover. I'm from Germ I'm from Flint. Hello. So I decided to take a ship to this new universe. And a few days, we were traveling at super duper light speed to the intergalactic regions of space. When we finally got to this awesome galaxy, I noticed that its star, Flatolia, was pretty similar to our sun, to our star, the sun. So, <coughs> I set the ship into plane light speed, and we were traveling to Flatolia's first planet. And I noticed that this fl first planet was quite far away, other than Mercury. Well, when we landed on this planet, I named it Zog because it just popped out of my head. And we set foot, I and a few of my colleagues set foot on this awesome planet. And we took a walk around it to explore and see how it was made in the topography. And we we took a sample of the air and it was sulfur gas so we, I said boys you better keep your gas masks on because it's we can't breathe here so 
We were walking along, and out popped this alien, the cocoa worm. I noticed that the cocoa worm was a herbivore that ate gas-producing vegetables and beans. It plucks the bean with its little plucker and eats it up. But for some beans that grow legs and run away or j jump around, it has this little thing, the claw. The claw pops out, flies around, and plucks the bean. And then it comes back and has a bon appetit meal. They communicate by beating their eyes together like the Morse code. And the way they hear is the sound beats off of their eyebrows and goes into this little hump on their head. After a few hours or 50 zog seconds, the beans and gas producing vegetables turn into a mushy compost that slowly moves to this canister and the sun, the sun flatulia burns the mush and compost into a gas that powers this jetpack type thing so it can go very fast away from enemies of aliens that are of mean aliens that try to eat it and some of those aliens happen to be right in this presentation Oh yeah, um, it um, eats plants. It grows itself. And these hands here, um, they're his antennas, and that's how he communicates. And he also uses it to plant the animals, uh, to plant the plants. Hello! The color snake does not go in herds, and when it's going to reproduce, it reproduces like this. The baby just pops out. The, another really nice thing about the color snake is that it can talk. It can tell you every single thing that you want it to. So whenever you're in trouble, just blow a whistle and the color snake will come and save you. Hello. Hi, I'm Katrina Antonik and I'm from Poland. I found this weird creature on the planet Rumpko. I named it Rumpik. It can eat everything it wants to. If an enemy comes near and touches these spikes, it gets electrocuted. If the mole lives underground, if it wants to come up, it jumps as high as it can. Hi, my name is Alex James. I come from I come from England. My alien's name is Sycadon. It is two million years old. It can live to be fifty million years old. It comes from the planet Grosodon. It like uh, it eats live people. 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 If you see this creature, don't be afraid. It's a really nice creature. It eats live people. Hello. Um, well, I was on the planet Scavalon and I just saw this alien and he was hungry for food, so. I walked over to him and he was sort of scared of me at first, but then he was okay and he liked me. So when we got back to Earth, I ran some tests and I found out that he, was, he lives in a herd and he's a carnivore. And the way he um, kills his enemies, which is his food source, is he shoots the slime out of this part of his mouth and it sticks them and they can't move and he just eats them. And he can't die, well he can, but um, how he reproduces is before he dies he just suddenly pukes and um, it's just another baby. So uh, that's usually what he does before he dies. And so if you ever go to Scab on, watch out and don't make, and if you see any of these, and don't make them mad. It eats live people. It's live people. Hi, my name is Felix Rober. I'm from Flensburg in Germany. I found this alien on the planet Waterworld. His name is Ocean Killer. Of course, I discovered the planet if there's any other life, but there's only plant in the water, no land. This is this alien is a female. You can see it because it has a white line on 
in the back. The males don't. It reproduces when the baby just comes out at the bottom. When you see one while you're swimming, watch out. Oh yeah, it, it eats live people. It kills people by using lasers from its eyes. By using lasers from its eyes. It kills people by using lasers from its eyes. Hello, I am Gleba Turin from Russia, Moscow. I will present my alien to you. This alien, I found this alien on a planet I call Technoland. When I landed on Technoland, I thought it was a lot like Legoland. But all the things that are Lego were real. Then I came around the corner and saw this guy. I named him Techno Dude. Oh yeah, it, it eats live people. It kills people by using lasers from its eyes. It gets to Earth by going through hyperspace. On its own planet, um, you can kill it by, you, by shining an ultraviolet light in its eyes. Its, its skin is radioactive dirt. It's the size of 20 people. Its mouth is slimy and has lots of razor sharp teeth. On Earth, it moves on a giant foot like a slug and breathes human air. On its own planet, there's less gravity, so it floats in the air. It likes to be ill mad and eat people, so, early viewers, watch out. Sikadon may be out to get you. Hi, my name is Elon Forsberg, and I come from Sweden. My alien is called the Tooth Tooth. It lives on the planet Temper with other aliens like the Toothpicker. The Toothpicker is an alien of the, I mean, an enemy of the Tooth Tooth because it picks the tooth. The conditions of Temper are especially foreign to this creature and many like it. Hi, my name is Matthew. This alien is a carnivore mainly and feeds on a deer-like animal called an Angola. And I think I should mention the Angola are rapidly becoming extinct. I, who discovered it, am one of the top scientists on the Intergalactic Council. I did, I'm originally from Balfron, Scotland, the UK, the Milky Way Spiral Galaxy. I discovered it when I was on a cruise near the planet Manka. When I was Cruising over the surface of the planet Manka, it jumped up and bit the hull off my ship. I followed it in an attempt to find its nest, and further research showed that it bites a piece of its own flesh off, and that piece of flesh turned into the baby. Now, the maybe, baby may look cute, but its mouth is full of razor-sharp teeth. That is really all I have to say about my alien, so if you ever go to Manka, watch out. He did a long speech. Hello! If you see this creature, don't be afraid. It's a really nice creature. It eats live people. The conditions of Temper are especially foreign to this creature and many like it. Um, the weather is mostly wet and humid for the tooth tooth because it needs water, water, otherwise it will decay. The tooth tooth eats Teeth. Oh, teeth. My name is Matthew Everett, and I'm from Arkansas. I'm here to tell you about my alien, Wolverine. I found while I was exploring this another system, which I called Sega System. On planet Earth, in that system, which I named maybe a jam, I saw I found out this kind of species of aliens, Wolverines, which I named. You can tell it's a girl because it's got a pouch for its baby and it doesn't have any horn like the males do. You can tell they're, they're carnivores, they travel in herds, and they make cottage houses. They're pretty civilized. They, they hunt, and you can tell their age by their color. Red is baby, yellow is middle age, green is, is to go full grown. They can camouflage themselves to, to their environment around them. They can they can breathe any kind of air. They can breathe air, water, and space. And they, the, the, they can, the babies can be held in here, and they can live to up to 5,000 years. It eats live people. They are predators. They travel in trees. They're very strong and athletic and agility. Both. They and they 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 hunt a lot. They're predators. 
Oh yeah, it, it eats live people. It kills people by using lasers from its eyes. That's all. Hi, I'm Steven Vassilaris and I'm from Houston, Texas. One day when I was searching for a new solar system, a meteor came right past my windshield and this alien jumped on my windshield. We took it back to Earth to do some tests on it. When we, we found out that it's a plant eater and it zaps you, it has lightning in its hands so it zaps his enemies with his hands. Right now he does not, he's falling apart because he cannot breathe the Earth's oxygen. So he crumbles up and he, this spot right here used to be orange, but it turned green because he's on the Earth. Techno dude, Techno dude gets food. Um, when he sees a victim, he paralyzes it with a laser, with this laser. If the victim's not paralyzed by the laser, he uses this, he uses this real laser and kills it. Then he grabs it with a hand and chops it in little pieces. And then, because his mouth is too small to eat it all, then he brings he, the piece of his victim to his mouth and eats it. When Techno Dude is attacked, he uses his laser and hand to protect himself. If there are too many enemies, then he makes a force field around him so the enemies can't get close. This is how the Techno Dude reproduces. When the Techno Dude is out of energy and cannot recharge, it makes a triple force field around it and then melts into, and then melts. After a while, the liquid it melted into turns into, splits into three pieces and the three new Techno Dudes are born. So if you're ever searching for a solar system, a new solar system, and Meteor comes by, watch out for these aliens. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Hello. So, after this presentation, I will be going to a new galaxy, exploring the wonders of the mysterious space above and beyond. That's all. That's our show for today. We hope you enjoyed our program. And watch out, one of these aliens could be lurking on your street. Goodbye! Goodbye.